I mean, this is card number six, the same problem on card number five, the same problem on card number four, number three, only one of them had a burnt connector, but the rest of the founder's edition, they all had this issue, this very same issue. The enemy is behind you and the ocean is in front of you. Which way do you go? Here we have yet another 4090 founder's edition that came in for repair. This one is actually one out of the 18 pieces that we got two days ago. And so far we fixed three out of 18. All of them had a connector issue, not a burnt connector, not a melted connector, but a damaged connector. I see that this one may be the same issue. If you look here, look at this. Look at the connector. What's going on with the Founders Edition connectors? I haven't seen so many cards with broken connectors. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting pcbway.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. This video is sponsored by UCD Keys. Use the coupon code N20 and receive 20% off Windows 11 Pro. Click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Now this issue could be a user error where the user put a lot of force on that connector, but that's what they tell you about 4090s. You have to push the cable in very tight. If that cable is not pushed in very tight, then the connector is going to melt. So you're going to either melt the connector or you're going to break the connector like this one. The enemy is behind you and the ocean is in front of you. Which way do you go? We're going to have to replace the connector. And I think the capacitor right next to the connector may have came off. Yeah. That's likely a 100 nanofarad capacitor. But we do not have to replace it. We will just solder this one back on. All the cards that came in, most of them are Founders Edition. And most of them have connector issues. I did not get to the rest of the cards. The customer paid for expedited service on every single one of those cards. The queue is very big. And we cannot stop. Work on one device, finish it, next. Another device, finish it, next. Right now we're going to start by preheating the board. Let me turn the fume extractor on. So like I said, you either break the connector or you melt the connector. If you do not plug in the cable all the way, the connector is going to melt and burn. And if you force the cable all the way in, the connector is going to break. Great. Just preheating the board. There's no way you're going to be able to remove that connector with hot air only. Unless you want to keep applying heat for the next 5-10 minutes, then by all means. Apply flux and we're going to use low melt solder so we can lower the melting temperature of unleaded that's already on the board. And then we're going to use our famous NF dot sucker to desolder solder from the holes. That's for all the suckers out there. And if that sucker is your tool. Big Bus just put another 
for United on my bench, but I think this one is not one of the 18 pieces that we got. It's a different one. It's a different 490. I have about four 490s on my bench right now. Disassembled and ready to work on. Let me just finish this one and I'm curious to know what the problem is with the one that Big Boss just put on my bench. Because, as you know, curiosity killed the cat. All right, now we're gonna get ready to remove that connector. That board is wobbling because I do not have any weight over it. Now we're going to grab our angled plier which you can purchase off our site along with all the other tools that we carry and sell. And I mentioned this in every video for all new viewers. And the connector is out. Thank you very much, Lomel Sader. You're the best. And now we're gonna grab our end of that sucker so we can suck all the solder from the hose. Now I cannot fit the end of that sucker under because of the microscope. So I'm gonna have to do it off camera. I need to have a camera pointing down so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to engage the sucker and press. Engage, press. Okay, so we're going to do the side. And I'm aiming vertically. In the past, I cut the tip at an angle so we can make it fit under the microscope but I later found out the vertical position is the best. Look at this. The holes are clean except for two, but it looks like we have broken pins left inside the holes. Those pins are broken from the connector. But because we applied low melt solder, we can easily just push them out or we can grab them from the other side. Beautiful. Beautiful. The end of that sucker is your friend. If you are in the same type of business or you're a hobbyist, you can purchase whatever we are using here from our site. A flux. End of that sucker, low melt solder. Soldering stations, hot air stations. I mentioned this in every video for all new viewers. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop. Add whatever tools you want to cart. We carry everything in stock. Most items are in stock, unless the item is not in stock. Check out pay and we almost always ship out same day. Let me grab a replacement connector. And there are two types of replacement connectors. You have the regular 12V HPWR connector and you have the ASUS one. ASUS one is different. For ACES, because ACES want to be special, they decided that the four holes that you see here, they're going to switch and put them on top. So the normal 12V HPWR connector will not work. You see how the four pins are from the bottom? We're going to apply flux. I'm holding the connector from the bottom. I'm going to solder a few pins. Let go, and then we can go over the pins one by one. I need to clean my soldering iron from low melt solder. We do not want to solder using low melt because low melt is brittle and fragile. You desolder with low melt and not solder. It's a question I get all the time. Can I solder using low melt? You cannot. You want to use leaded solder. And let's apply a blob right here. 
and now I can let go and we're gonna go over the pins one by one how do you say one by one in Spanish how do you say it in your language in Arabic it's wahda wahda you learned something new today Maybe if I teach you one phrase per video, you're going to be fluent in Arabic in one month. A lot of viewers wonder where I'm from. What's that accent? I mentioned it many times before, but I cannot expect everyone to watch 1,000 videos to figure out where I mentioned it. I was born in New York. New York, New York. I left to Lebanon at a young age, around four or five. And I stayed in Lebanon until the age of 16. So we went to schools in Lebanon. And as you know, Lebanese people speak French, English, and Arabic. Our school system, for the most part, they teach you all three languages. Not all schools, but for the most part. So I learned Arabic, English, and my school was an English school, not much French, but I did take a class or two in French. My wife is fluent in French. Then I came back here at the age of 16, and I've been here since. I do visit Lebanon every once in a while. My family are all here. Lebanon, as you know, is a very nice country, but like any other country in the world, politics ruins it for everyone. And we are done. Let's clean up and look at those better than factory joints. And in the meantime, I want to look at the card that Big Boss put on my bench. And it's a connector issue, a burned connector issue. And this one is an Asus card. You see how the four pins are all the way on top here or on the bottom as I have the board oriented. And if you look at the one that we are working on right now, which uses the regular 12 VHPWR connector, the four pins are on the bottom, on the side of the board. The four pins here are away from the board, and you have that notch right here. That's ACES. ACES want to be different. So ASUS connectors burn while Founders Edition connectors break. We're going to use Kimtech wipes, the Northridge Fix brush, and 99% isopropyl. You can use 91%, you can use 93%, do not use 70%. 70% contains a lot of water. Where can I buy 99% from? You cannot buy it from stores unless your store has it. But you can go to Target if you live in the US and you can buy, I believe, 93%, which is very good. And tell me this one is not better than factory. Now we do have just a tiny bit of nicks here and there. We can apply a tiny bit of UV mask 
We do not really have to, but why not? We're going to use the Northridge Fix UV light along with some hot air. I went over hot air and UV light in a previous video. And I demonstrated how hot air helps with the curing of UV mask. Few seconds and we're done. And the board is better than factor. And our brand new connector is right here. I'll hand the car to Big Boss to reassemble and test. Then we can invoice the customer. We just disassembled card five out of 18. And guess what? Look at the connector. It's not burnt, no melting, but the connector is bent. Only on the founder's edition. This one is the fifth card with a damaged connector like this. We disassembled card number six, and it looks like every time I'm coming to this video to add another portion. But I did card number five, and Big Boss opened up card number six, and guess what? Same issue with the connector. Look at the bending on this connector. This one is pretty bad. If we go under the microscope, maybe we can see it better. Look at this. Look at the way this connector is. Is this considered a user error where the customer may have plugged in the cable too hard? I mean, this is card number six, the same problem on card number five, the same problem on card number four. Number three, only one of them had a burnt connector, but the rest of the founder's edition, they all had this issue, this very same issue. We're going to have to replace the connector on this one as well. And the problem with those connectors is... When you plug the cable in, let me plug the cable in, okay? When you plug the cable in and I put pressure so the cable goes in, let's go under the microscope. I want to show you. That cable is still not seated in all the way, which can cause a burning or melting problem. So you have to force that cable. You have to put a lot of pressure to force that cable in. A lot of pressure. I'm putting pressure and that's how that connector is bending is that considered a user error or a design problem i would not blame it on the user it's a design problem because if that cable is not all the way in the connector is going to burn and if it's all the way in and you're going to put a lot of pressure so you can get the cable all the way in the connector ends up bending especially on the founder's edition Okay, I'm back. Card number seven. Card number seven. Let's go under the microscope. <laughs> Same problem. Same problem. We're going to have to replace the connector on this one. Today, I must have replaced about 12 connectors on 4090s from different customers. But for this particular customer, I think we did four cards. Same problem with the connector. I don't think we're going to open any more cars today. Almost time to go home. And I think this one, I'm going to work on it tomorrow and not today. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. If you ever had a Founders Edition 4090 that suffered the same issue, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.